Winter is done, spring is here. We've got two days to get this camper road ready, and we're gonna clean it from top to bottom. Today we're gonna clean the roof. We're gonna bring back the gloss to these camper sides. We're gonna tackle this awning and a few other maintenance items. It's gonna be a busy couple days. Let's get started. First, we gathered all our supplies. Now on our roof, we like to use Simple Green. Next, we give the roof a quick sweep to get rid of any debris, mix up our cleaner and water, and then we get to scrubbing. All right, so the roof is done. I probably shouldn't have picked a cool morning like this. It's in the mid 50s to do this. Um, I did this roof about six months ago, so it really wasn't very bad. One of the easiest ways to reduce the amount of black streaks on your camper is to keep your roof clean. It's that soiling that's coming off the roof when it rains that contributes to the black streaks we all hate so much. For quick touch-ups on those black streaks before they set in, we really like this Camco black streak remover. We just rinse down the area Apply the product, wait 60 seconds, then wipe off, and then a final rinse. To reach our goal of getting this camper looking as much as possible like new, we went online to the manufacturer that makes these exterior panels for this camper and they recommended the following process. First, they recommend washing with a mild detergent. Again, we're gonna use Simple Green here. Then, they recommend two Meguiar's products. One, an oxidization remover, and two, pure wax. But we're gonna add one more step. We found this package online. It has two of the products that the manufacturer recommended, plus a third, a high gloss polish. So let's see how well of a job this product did on this camper. All right, mercifully, the sun has come out. It looks like it's warming up pretty quick here. I've got my soap made up. Let's clean this camper. So for this process, we followed the instructions on the back of the bottle, and we did the majority of it by hand. Step one was to apply the oxidation remover and then wipe it off. Step two was to apply the high gloss polish and wipe it off. And step three was to apply the wax let it dry to a haze, and then wipe it off. Where we've worked on this section, it basically looks like showroom. High, high degree of gloss, high degree of reflection, very nice, very smooth. And you can feel it when you move your hand up here. Although this looks okay, um, it doesn't, you know, it, doesn't, it looks okay. You can really just feel the resistance and the amount of oxidation that's occurred in the gel coat compared to this. I'm not even sure if you can hear it, <laughs> but it's, it's obvious. This is before we applied the Meguiar's, and this is after. Now let's take a look at another place on the camper. This was an area with an outline of an old sticker. So, once we applied the Meguiar's products, it was gone. The gel coat looked just like new. So you can probably tell, we are real happy with this product. Our camper almost looks like brand new. 
Okay, Troy, time for question and answer. I'm ready. So, about how long did it take us to do this camper, uh, working with, uh, I think, primarily with the both of us? I want to say it took about four and a half, five hours. So, why do we use the buffer on the front cap? Yeah, the front cap is fiberglass, and it's exposed to a lot of uh, UV sunlight. It was heavily oxidized, really chalking bad, and not looking good. So, I used the buffer to lift that out quicker. It would have taken us forever by hand. The buffer really sped that act up. Now. We really did the majority of the camper by hand. It was only that front cap. Why? There's so many things to work around on this camper on both sides in the front and back. It's just easier to do it by hand, in my opinion. So how much of the product from Meguiar's do you think we actually used? I would say we used uh, between a half to a third, somewhere in there. Okay, I think this is going to be the last question. Mm. What would be the biggest tip as far as doing this? I would say don't apply these products in direct sunlight. If you can, you want to do it in the evening or you want to do it in the morning. Yeah, we did that front cap yesterday. The sun came around really quickly and um, it was really streaking and yeah. we were thinking this product was not going to work. Um, moved to a shaded spot and realized our mistake. So that is the biggest tip. One thing we're not happy with is our awning. On a prior trip, we had to roll it up wet because we keep it at a storage unit. We weren't able to extend it to dry it out. So last fall, we mixed up some Camco awning cleaner and water and applied it to the awning with a pump sprayer. Then we rolled up the awning and let it set for about 15 minutes. Once we unrolled it, we went ahead and scrubbed, followed up with a Mr. Clean eraser mop, then gave it a final rinse. Overall, the awning was improved, but this spring we decided to give it a second go-round. This time, we applied a mixture of simple green and water, rolled it up, and then scrubbed and rinsed again. And yet, the stains remain. So if you guys have any thoughts about how we might get rid of the last of these stains, please let us know in the comments down below. Now, one product we are using is this 303 protectant. So that brings us to the next part of this video. A couple years into owning this camper, Linda and I noticed that these decals on the exterior were starting to wear and age out really badly, so we started thinking about a solution or some way to protect it. That's when we found this product, this 303. Uh, now we're using it in a variety of locations all the way around the camper. Our camper sits out in the sun a lot. So we use the 303 protectant on all the plastic, rubber, and vinyl items around the camper to help prevent fading and cracking from the sunlight. We're also using it on our awning to not only protect from that sunlight, but to also hopefully keep some of those stains off in the future. And we can't forget those decals. We also have found this product. It's 303 in a different form of application. In the past, we've used this 303 by spraying it onto this vinyl trim insert, again, trying to protect it. But the way this is designed with this little foam top on it, you just squeeze it and you can add it. That means a whole lot less waste. Another 303 product we like a lot is this tire bomb. One of the great advantages is it doesn't include petroleum distillates. All my life I've used those shiny solutions you spray on the tire to make them look glossy and new and that actually shortens the lifespan of the tire. So that's it. The camper's clean and we are ready to get on the road. For those of you that follow our channel, you'll know that uh, our little guy Desi has some serious health issues. He has a veterinary appointment um, in the next week. He has a veterinary appointment about every other week, as it turns out. Linda takes good care of him. But pending this appointment, if there's no serious progression in his condition, guys, we're going to head north up to Quebec. If you live up in that way or you have some input on things that we might want to see around the Quebec City area, please let us know in the comments down below. 
As always, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And Little Camp and Desi always wants you guys to hit that notification bell. Damn. We found this Meguiar's kit online. It has